it's been a little while since I made fun of Hannah Stocking or Lele Pons just because, I mean, their skits are just, they, they make fun of themselves. You don't need a commentator to tell you what's stupid about them. It's pretty damn obvious. But that's what just makes them so just gosh darn fun, you know? So today we're going to be checking out Hannah Stocking's skit, Can I Speak to a Manager, which, I mean, it's pretty obvious what it's going to be about. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. The I've never understood why Hannah Stocking has such a hard time finding people that fit the role to what she's trying to put them in. Like, obviously she has the kin, she's the mom, but why is she talking to a 15-year-old principal? The pleasure's all mine, Mr. Handsome. Shut up, Karen! In that moment, that kid was the essence of every customer standing in line waiting to purchase something while... Karen is yelling at the manager for something that he can't even control. We just, sh we just want her to shut up. That's all we want. It's just, you can call me Mr. Henderson. We're here to uh, discuss your son, Butch. He's I'm gonna adjust my, can I ask for a manager haircut? Just in case if you didn't get the joke too, now you see it. Now you can see that I have a, can I speak to a manager haircut? That way, you know, you get that, what, 10 year old, Reference. He's been having a lot of uh, behavioral issues in class lately. My sweetie's been acting up, but he's an angel. He may be a sweet angel, but an angel with some problems because he's, and we have here, he's been held back uh, so many times actually. He's the only teenager in the third grade. He looks like he makes moonshine. It looks like he makes moonshine? I never knew that there was a stereotypical moonshine look to people. Storms are coming. I never knew this, but apparently people who make moonshine have a real keen sense of weather and obviously they could tell when a storm's coming. If we don't do something soon, uh, he's gonna get held back again. Do you have any proof? We have security camera footage. I'm Butch the Butcher Johnson. Screw you, Mr. Hendersnatch! So not only is he making moonshine, but he knows how to mix chemicals to make explosions. Why isn't the FBI involved? But I guess that does explain why they're having a meeting in a classroom instead of the principal's office, because you know, his office is probably completely destroyed now. That's actually pretty serious. That's, uh, that's actually domestic terrorism. Well, that could have been any Butch Johnson. Do you have a manager I could speak to? We do not. Uh, this is not an Applebee's. This is a elementary school. An elementary school with the principal who probably hasn't even finished high school yet. I think that we can both agree that he has some temper problems. My family doesn't breathe bad temper, you! Gorgeous man. It's right. like they have this joke that they thought would work really, really well, and they wrote out, they probably didn't write a script. They just came up with this idea, and they decided to film it, and they have no clue how to really present the punchline in any way, so they just kind of revert back to her hitting on him. All right, there's no need to get heated here. It is getting pretty heated in here, isn't it? <clears throat> Think I might lose a layer. I totally forgot I was wearing this. And since the actor that she got for it looks like he's 16 years old, it just is kind of just turning out creepy more than anything. <laughs> Instead of naming this video, Can I Speak to Your Manager? They should have just named it How to Get Your Kid Out of Trouble by Flirting with the Principal and Acting Like a Moron. That would have been a lot better. Listen, sweetheart, I know my body may look like a burnt marshmallow, puffy, asymmetrically bubbly, but the truth is these curves will make your heart race like salted grits. Wait, time out. Did Hannah Stocking just say that she looks puffy and like a burnt marshmallow and asymmetric? What? She's like 109 pounds. <laughs> the last thing I think of when I look at Hannah Stocking is puffy or a burnt marshmallow, whatever that human form of a person might look like. That, those are the two last things I think of when I look at her. What are you even saying right now? Oh, I'm sorry, are you not following? Maybe we should speak to a manager or something. What do you think, Butch? <laughs> Yeah, can I speak to a manager? I feel like he would better understand when a woman is clearly trying to objectify herself to you. Can I please speak to someone else? Clearly you're not following me. We don't have a manager. This is an ele- Did you just change shirts again? How? I'm flattered that you keep hitting on me. Honestly, when I first clicked on this video, I expected some lady throwing a temper tantrum at like McDonald's or some fast food place, but 
I have no idea how we even ended up here. But look, we really do need to discuss your son, okay? Um, and also too, by the way, you're like double my age. Thank you, thank you. She is like double your age. He's probably not even acting right there. He's just throwing that out there because now he's realizing how stupid this skit is. Listen, sweetheart, I know my hair looks like a medieval hand weapon that could pierce through the firmest of armors on the most noble knight. I know that. And again, in case if you didn't notice that my hair looks like the can I speak to your manager haircut and you didn't notice that last time and you totally missed that I was pointing that out before too in case you missed that joke, I'm going to point it out one more time by saying something that doesn't really make any sense and maybe you'll get that 10 year old joke this time now. But I promise you, these hands are softer than my ex-husband's slow-cooked brisket. If you're trying to get someone to objectify you, the number one thing to do is to compare yourself to an object. And the best object to compare yourself to is some delicious food, especially something that your ex-husband or ex-wife used to make. Okay, look, you know what, Miss Johnson? I tried to be cool. I'm literally losing it. I'm sick and tired of the madness. I'm sick and tired of being hit in the face with spitballs that smell like hard liquor. I don't know what's going on, and I don't know what it's going to take for me to get you to listen to me. Butch Johnson, this is the police. We have you surrounded. Come out immediately. Oh, there's the FBI. Now this gets starting to make sense. Dinner. My place. Eight o'clock. So what's it gonna be? Are we doing this date or do I need to speak to your manager? I thought you'd never ask. What the hell? I didn't even think he was interested. This whole thing just took a big old 180 and now I... Uh, I don't know how anybody could follow what the hell's happening in this. He was yelling and screaming at her because she kept hitting on him and not paying attention to what he was saying and trying to help her son who is kind of a piece of crap but he was at least trying and now all of a sudden they're going on a date because something changed i does he get turned on by the police sirens and now he's just up for anything what the hell is happening so this is what it's turned into Somebody thought that her wearing text me or call me or whatever on her shirt with the phone number was a really good joke and then they just kind of ran out of stuff to do with the rest of the video and some guys just like, hey, what if we do the same thing with him? For the rest of the video, they're going to communicate just by ripping their shirts open and there's going to be more writing there and it's funny because they're just never going to run out of shirts and everybody's going to be like, whoa, they're not running out of shirts. This is crazy man i feel like anybody who was involved in making this video anybody who had a brain should have been like hey what does this have to do with can i speak to your manager is that still going to be part of the joke or are we is is this part going in there still or are we changing the whole thing or is are we just going to throw this in there what what are we doing now guys darling i thought i had more shirts on i miscalculated i'm sorry apparently i was wrong apparently the punchline isn't that they keep ripping shirts open and it never ends it's that she can't tell when she has one last shirt on and she rips it up and it's accidental cutaway nudity which is equally unfunny all right guys go ahead and leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of hannah stocking's video and if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon that way you get notified whenever i upload new videos and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time. I was trying to make it rely on my parents' fantasy.